As we wrap this training up, we wanna take a moment and address expectations and next steps. What can you expect when you lead a group for a season? What's normal? And where do you go from here? So first, what's normal? What kind of expectations should you bring? We want you to know that it's normal for there to be attrition in a group. You may start with eight people, and by week three, you have just five. This is normal. It's also normal when forming a group that the people you thought would definitely want to be in your group don't join you. For one reason or another, it just doesn't work for them. This is normal. It's for these reasons that we encourage people forming a group to make a list of people to invite and then do what they can to double their list. People you think would never want to participate are often the first ones who jump in. So don't say people's no for them. Make your list long and you'll likely be surprised by who jumps in. Then finally, we wanna talk briefly about what's next. This training has been designed for people leading a group for a season, a group that has a start date and a stop date. So what happens when that season is over? Two options. First, for some, the season will be over, and that will be it. Good will have come from your group, it will have met a need, but there won't be interest by you or by others to sign on for another season. And that's both normal and good. For others though, you'll have experienced a taste of something you want more of. Connection in your group will just be blooming. You'll see the beginnings of life change in you and others, and you won't want it to end. If this is your experience, we'll want to talk with you about turning your group for a season into a small group. You see, small group leaders are on the front lines of life change. They get to have a front row seat in seeing what God is doing in another person's life. And by doing that, they themselves also experience a tremendous amount of life change. Leading and serving does this. So if this interests you, know that we'll want to talk with you about onboarding you as a leader and onboarding your group. And we'll have both additional training and additional support available for you. So thanks everybody for your willingness to form a group for a season. We trust God will guide your steps and we look forward to hearing how it goes.